Let's go to, well, it's short for Virginia. Oh, all right. Fair. So, all right. So let's go to the buy of the week. The best cards to buy right now and why I've got mine prepared using Market Movers app by Sports Card Investor. You can get your first month for only $1 using the promo code no off season. And I would encourage you guys to do that because it is a great tool. Not only that, but they did just launch uh, market movers X is what they're calling it, I believe. And that, and they're renaming the packages and, um, changing their pricing. So it's a new and improved software app from market movers by sports card investor. And they're launching it, I believe to the public, uh, later this week at the national, but as an affiliate, I got a sneak preview of the product. Uh, thanks to Doug Husky and the other guys over at sports card investor. Good work. Keep up the good work. So we're using your tool and encouraging our audience to use the tool because it is a great it is a great tool. So um, I'm going to go to mine and uh, let's see if I can um, go ahead and show my my deals. OK, so this is from the mobile app. This is not the new and improved uh, Market Movers X, but uh, Kyler Murray is one of my one of my deals, one of my buy of the week from uh, from Market Movers by Sports Card Investor. Um, this would be his 2019 Prism Hyper out of 175 in PSA 9. Uh, the buy it now of $450 is actually 25% and uh, $150 below the last sold comp of that card. And we are in, the other reason I chose Kyler is because we are in football card buying season it's going to end very quickly here uh just aired the football card strategy show episode four with andy Kaysen, who just brings the rain like no other human being i have ever <laughs> interacted with in my life he's just yeah. like i don't know how he does that but it's very impressive he just knows his stuff so i know he is adamant about like football card buying season happening right now but like basically monitoring it very carefully because it's going to end any second um and so uh, then there's going to be a flippable window prior to week one and with some people uh, into week four and stuff like that. So Kyler, I think is, you know, he's a guy that Andy and, and Carter, uh, Carter, the power uh, over on their show, the football card quest show, they do an amazing job. Um, they've talked a lot about Kyler and uh, check out the football card strategy show episode four at footballcardstrategy.com. He talks about Kyler as well on that one. So he's one of them. Uh, and then another one, this is a different, this is a different play, Kendall. So I, I saw an Archie Manning. Well, I, I did a little digging in the deals tool at Market Movers. And again, you can get your first month for $1 using the promo code no off season. So check that out. Uh, now would be a great time to do this going into the national. Um, 1972 tops base Archie Manning. Uh, buy it now for $82. This is $27 less than its last sale so about 25 percent down um i thought that was an interesting one with uh with the market the way it is with some vintage stuff so um yeah that's uh those are my two my two main deals of the week and uh let me see before i hand it over to you and get your thoughts and get your your deal of the week let me see if i had any other notes on that nope that that was it for me um so what do you think? You can either comment on mine or you can jump into yours. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, so I, I think the Kyler one is interesting. Kyler's always been something of a mystery to me. Um, the So Kyler and I grew up in the same city. Um, we, he played for Allen, which is like the biggest 6A school in Texas. Uh, then he gets recruited out of high school to play either baseball or football. Actually, absolutely electric at, at the state finals in, in high school. I watched him all four years play at Allen and I just rip it up like he was an, an outstanding. And I was sitting there thinking underneath like the lights at the Cowboys Stadium, because that's where they do the, the uh, state tournament. I was like, this dude's going to play on Sunday for sure. Like, there's just no way that he can't. The only weird thing was like he was short. But, like, what people didn't see was how good of a baseball player he was. And then, like, you did see that a little bit at Oklahoma when he did both. Um, but anyway, then he goes and gets recruited to my favorite school. You know, like, he goes and starts at A&M. And we're just like, oh, Kyler Murray's here. This is sick. And then all of a sudden, like, the coach does, like, some crazy stuff. And he's like, I'm out of here. 
I'm going to go play at OU and literally be a Heisman. Uh, and so that was kind of upsetting to me. But then then he goes on and gets drafted by the A's in the first round. I believe it's like the it was like this 11th pick or something like that. So ginormous slot money basically there uh not ginormous compared to what he's making now but but you know it was funny like he and then i was thinking well at that point you you knew he was going to get drafted in football too and you're like what is he going to choose so he gets drafted by oakland you think like dude this guy's going to get drafted by san fran or the raiders and he's going to play both you know like it's going to be our lifetime's two-way or uh two dual sport player whatever he's gonna be our bo jackson slash Deion sanders whatever um and then none of that happens and then he and then in the offseason this year uh you, you're like frick is he even gonna be a cardinal anymore you know like uh there were I, I was like dude is he just gonna go play for the oakland a's again like what the heck's going on you know uh, and then he signs a big contract and all of it, you know, it's just like, but anyway, Kyler is always right there for me for some reason that if a guy I always am interested in getting, I draft him almost every year in at least one or two of my fantasy teams. He's a guy I love watching. He's a guy that's uh catalytic, if you will, Paul, like when he's on the field. So I would definitely spend some money right now on him, especially if, if Andy and you think he's a buying opportunity, uh, you guys know that I'm not s- super big into football. Uh, but, but, um, you know, like in the uh, sports card strategy, football slash quarterbacks list, I'm all in on him. You know, like, let's do this. So nice, nice. Well, Paul Carl card says he's been getting killer football card deals, buying lots, <laughs> approximately 800 color and rookies from Prism. He's going to list them as singles tonight. I mean, Andy would just absolutely. Wow. 800 listings. Uh, you and got some spent, time, my friend. Yeah, no kidding. And he spent fifty dollars for both lots. Well, Paul, definitely like let us know how that goes. Like, we, please follow up with us on that. Somehow. I'm curious if you're going to list them as auctions or buy it nows. I know. Hey, Paul, can you please uh, join the Facebook group if you haven't yet, and just like keep us updated on that because that's pretty cool. Greeny Green agrees with you, um, and uh, he says lots are where that where it's at. And then well, Paul says he can list. 200 to 400 singles per hour. That's pretty what? good work, man. How? Um, I got to know. Uh, I got to know how. Yeah, I need yeah. to know. Because I need that. I need that in my life. Maybe we can get Paul on the show. So actually, uh, we're going to start doing some video clips on the show. So, uh, so Paul, you could even just send us a video clip explainer of how you do this. And then I could, uh, yeah. I, he says he doesn't use Facebook. That's cool. So just comment on the YouTube video then after it airs that'd be cool i really um, our- i need to know a process we need to break down i need a myth busters is it real or not 200 to 400 an hour he says chrono, chrono card, card is the key that's interesting All right. i've, now I've got to something look to look that. up yeah i have not heard of that so i'll look into chrono card too good stuff paul thanks for thanks for being a part of today's broadcast and uh greeny green you as well everybody else um, i do have some buys right. though if Kendall has buy. I, of course you do. We're not, I didn't forget about your buys. Let's go. What are your buys? All right. We've heard this name quite a bit from me before. But like I said, with a couple of months ago, when I was like, this might be your last chance on O'Neill Cruz. This is not even near your last chance on this guy. Okay. But please help me make you some money. Okay. And go out and buy some Indy Rodriguez cards. The man over the past two days has pumped four big ones over the wall. Like this guy is incredible. He's playing catcher now at the at about a twenty percent clip, and he's logging time at second base and in the outfield. And the Pittsburgh Pirates are needing a, more players at the big league level. They are struggling, but they're in third. But they have the second highest negative run differential in baseball so one of two things could happen indy could definitely be involved in a trade package i don't think that's going to happen because i don't think that the pittsburgh pirates are going to trade indy i think he's too valuable but if you have henry davis and indy rodriguez on the major league roster at the same time henry can be the primary catcher and Indy can be the secondary catcher, but they can both play every day. Like that's super, super valuable. And he's pumping big ones over the wall. Like, dude, come on. He's like, he, he has an effortless swing and he's very like 
personable so everything like if you go look on twitter like there's these guys there's a i saw one yesterday that was like indy rodriguez was so excited to show me his new bats that came in i had to just turn on the camera and then like you, you see an interview about him being like these new bats like they're so cool like come look at them <laughs> like he's just you know how julio is getting a lot of attention right now because he's just a joy to be around yeah, uh, yeah. Obviously, he's not getting only that attention. He's incredible. He's also which pumping is, him over the wall. Which, he, yeah, he's also a big league in it, you know, um, in a big way. But Indy, I think, will be that kind of character to where people just love to love him. And I think when, like, Paul Fisher, here he is again, going to bring him up again. He was asking me this week, like, is there another guy that's universally loved in in the product other than you know um uh jordan and a couple of other players and i was like i think mike trout maybe ken griffey but at the same time like i don't think there's a modern one that's like next level and i think julio is definitely that kind of guy but i also think a guy like indy could very well be that same way not maybe in the top the top end like his ceiling is not as high but he's definitely a good player. So please go buy some Indy Rodriguez. And I just sent my out of five Indy Rodriguez auto to PSA. So hopefully that comes back well. Um, yeah, let's go. I hope it does too. Yeah, so Indy is definitely mine. I, I, our, my market movers logged me out of our thing and I couldn't remember the password. So uh, I'll have to, you know, like graph it or something next episode. But Indy is, is a huge one for me right now nice love it good good buy of the week and uh yeah we'll get you into that market movers upgraded product here coming up um again thanks to uh the guys over at market movers guys and girls over at market movers they do an amazing job they are uh putting out a new upgraded version of the market movers product and you can get your first month for only one dollar by using the promo code no off season so let's go